Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly vibe reading. Let's go ahead and find out what Taurus needs to know this week. What does Taurus needs to know this week? Ooh, there's like so many cards fell out. I'll just shuffle again and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, okay. A decision. Now, um, two of swords is Libra and the moon. Libra in the moon. Um, so it's basically saying that there is a decision and it's pending. All right. Either it's yet to come or you're going through it now. Or it's something that you did recently and it's um, made a ripple effect on some things that are affecting your life. Um, and so that will come out in the in the next few cards. So with the Two of Swords being Libra, it's all about being fair and just wanting to do what's right. Thinking about Libra being... Um, uh, represented by justice it's like I really want to do the right thing I really want to balance things out I want to be fair uh, I don't want to be biased I want to make the right decisions with the moon and you can see she's facing away from the moon and it's a sickle moon um, she's trying to I guess suppress her her emotions her feelings she and she's trying not to be biased by seeing you know her eyes are blindfolded I don't want to see what others perspective is I, I don't want to feel with my emotions I want to make a decision based on logic fact reasoning and justice I want to make a decision based on what is right, not for me, for everyone involved. Let's go ahead and see what else comes out. Until then, I'm going to be completely blocked off. I need time out. Uh, I've just been through too much. Um, she's got her wands around her indicating walls, okay? She's got barriers. And the reason she's got the walls up is because she's been through too much. See how she's on guard? She's ready. She's ready, willing and able to fight even though she's been injured and she's hurt. She's ready, willing and able. She's still waiting for the battle. So perhaps this is... When I clarify, we'll get a, a fine-tuned picture of what this is. Although... What I'm feeling is something to do with perhaps um, a disagreement that was had, um, you know, locking horns with someone else that you really care about and you're really thinking to yourself, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're right or maybe there is another perspective. There is another reason for this happening or there's some other type of solution besides what I think. So I'm going to be as fair as I possibly can, not thinking about me, not thinking about anyone else, just doing what's right for all involved. I've got my walls up because I really want to be unbiased. I really don't want to be uh, swayed in my decision, what I'm making. This is death. Uh, indicating transition and change so what I feel is there's going to be a very big change um, and this could be a, a ripple effect a chain reaction from your decision from what you feel is the right thing to do so let's go ahead and clarify shall we spirit tell me more about two of swords for my Taurus tell me more about Okay, we have the gift. Okay, so this is something that was given and received. So something that has they gave you and you, you sort of gave to them. It's an ongoing flow between you and another. All right, and it's really about you needing to make a decision. Depending on what this flow was, it, it seems to be very positive. And it seems to be about waiting because it's got the seven waiting. All right. I've been waiting to hear from this person. Could be messages going back and forth, correspondence, um, vibes, you know, something that's been said, something that's been done, a feeling. 
um, and one seven, so one person has been waiting, is waiting, we're making a decision. Why are we blocked? Why are we guarded? Because one, two, privileged lady. Uh, so one wants to become two. One, two. So one would be you or the other person wants to become two, indicating a couple, okay? Wants the decision to be together. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. And so we, we're blocked because we don't want opinions. We don't want bias. We want to make the right decision. Privileged lady. Now, privileged lady takes good care of herself. You can see she's stylish. She's got feathers in her beautiful hat. She wears beautiful clothes, custom made, designed for her. Look at the beautiful background there and lush gardens. She's obviously got it good. But she's got a good why? Because she worked for it. Okay, privileged lady. She's worked for this, living on residual income that she's worked for. So she knows with experience she needs to guard herself. What is she guarding? Herself. Tell me about the transition change for my Taurus. What is the transition and change for Taurus? What is death here? What is you know, death is, a lot of people are intimidated by this card. This is Scorpio, by the way. So death is uh, about, you know, like you're seeing old posts on Instagram that no longer, you know, serve a purpose. It's like, yeah, I, I was in the mood once a long time ago to wear this or for this kind of makeup or, you know, or for this meme or whatever it is that you posted but it doesn't make sense now with your lifestyle and it's kind of like it doesn't serve a purpose so you'll delete it or even a Facebook post or an old picture or you know that is death it but it's more along the lines of changing your life uh, because something doesn't serve you anymore something isn't going the way it's supposed to go and so it's better off to cut it out and it means once this is cut out, there's going to be change. The transition like a young adult moving out of home into a new place, you know, and it's like, well, uh, this will always be home, but I'm going to have a new home now and I'm going to be living independently. So it's a huge transition and change. We're leaving behind a lifestyle because we've grown out of it. We no longer belong there. It's like... We know we can always come back. So death is more of a severance as opposed to we can always come back. But it's just an example, knowing that, um, yeah, that whatever it is that we're moving on from is now something that we're moving literally on from. It's not something that we're going to go back to unless, you know, judgment comes out, then it means that, yeah, you're going to go back to it. it's going to be risen again. But death is generally about release and moving on to a sunset, new dawn, new day. Spirit, tell me about death for my Taurus. Tell me about death for my Taurus. Thank you. We have change because we felt left out. Change a nine to the ten, three, seven. All right, so three, seven. So three indicates, well, it gives me the energy of more than one, more than two, sorry. Like, a, uh, you know, like there's two. There's one wanting the two, but unfortunately there's a three. So there's an extra person or extra situation that is taking away one of the two, okay, to another situation whether it's another partner whether it's a marriage or whether it's children or work or distance whatever it is you know and this is the one is waiting making a decision one wants to become two but we're blocked we're blocked from doing that or we're blocked during our decision on what to do about this we have life experience and we want to be taken care of but we can take care of us and ourselves should i say and you know, to have a partner or to have a love is beautiful, 
but we are independent and we can do it for ourselves, you know, whether you're male or female. Now we're going to transition from that because we've made our decision or we're still making a decision, but in the meantime, we need space um, to do so. Nine indicates change, but because it's a nine, it's not quite in its completion. It's still yet to be. So this is still approaching. So it's something that we're thinking about and the universe is saying major arcana it's going to be a mountain in your soul purpose life path and it's something that you're going to need to experience in order to grow and evolve um, for the next you know relationship or situationship that you're going to encounter hence being a nine okay it's incomplete you're still finding yourself going through the valley of the shadows so that you can find who you are, what you need, what you want, who you're really looking for. And change indicating it's a complete change. It's a severance of what you know now to what is going to yet yet become. And the reason is 3-7 completion. It makes you feel you know vulnerable it makes you feel left out it makes you feel sensitive it makes you feel like you need extra cuddles and extra love and extra support it makes you feel like you know you need the extra because right now you haven't been having what you need so that is why you're kind of still in the deciding factor here something that once was beautiful equal give and take it was a nice flow has become just the one person giving and giving and giving okay and waiting for the reciprocation but you know and so since then maybe this is you know them blocking you but i don't think so but it might be that they blocked you and you're like well what's going on you know and i can do it for myself then you know if they can't if they don't want to give me the love that you know i've been giving them so yeah let me know what this means for us um <laughs> that was interesting um to you and where you are on the timeline i'm going to get an extra energy oracle just to give you some more guidance light and love in regards to this spirit tell me more about this for my taurus what do they need to know what is yet upcoming what is going to happen with the transition what does Taurus need to know with their transition here? Ooh, we have, this is still something that is coming towards you, whether this is you or whether this is your love. This is man holding a heart. Okay, now I don't know whether this is this person coming back because it is a nine it does indicate nine so building is challenging um, with the five it is a challenge it's an uphill situation to build so it could be this person saying but i you know i, I really want to make this work i don't want you to let go i really want to keep going with this or it could be someone new that is going through the same type of challenges as you are that is going to come into your experience and you're going to totally hit it off because you totally get it because you've both been through this. So maybe spirit brought this experience to you so you can resonate with the next one. All right, let me know what this means. And um, Taurus, as always, I send you love, healing and light. Bye for now.